Howdy folks, welcome back to another video about Chrome. In today's video, we're gonna take an Arduino, I think it's a Nano, yeah, Arduino Nano that comes with this, and we're gonna program it to blink some LEDs. So if you saw my previous video about uh, setting up the breadboard, this is basically just a breadboard and power save that I have just to save a little bit of time. So our breadboard is set up with the power supply and the rails are jumper together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go save this as something else. So I'm gonna call it Shift Out LEDs YouTube. There we go. So of course we're gonna need our Arduino. So I'm gonna put that over here so we got plenty of room for LEDs. And let's get some ground and power hooked up. like so. And then we're gonna need some code to run on this. So if we go, make sure we have select and then we just click on here. And you can see with the pen assignments, and some info about the chip there. We're gonna click on code editor and it'll start you out with a blank uh, Arduino setup. And I'm not gonna go into all of that necessarily right here. There's plenty of tutorials out there for Arduino. Uh, I'm gonna go open. And I've got all this in my Chrome folder. I think I saved that in shift out. Yeah. So this is a code we're going to start with. And we've got pins 8, 11, and 12. So we're going to have to be looking those up. So what we're going to do is use a shift register. That's one of our chips here. I think it's down at the bottom. Yep, yeah, the 595. So you can shift data into here and then it displays on the output pins. Pretty straightforward. Stick that in. And I really like that the pins are labeled. That's super handy. So again, we're gonna hook up power. Now we need to get some wires hooked up here to our Arduino. And I've already forgotten what those are. So we have the latch, uh, the clock and data. Clock is 12, data is 11. All right. So from pin 12, we need to come over to the clock, I think. No, these are labeled kind of strange. I'm actually gonna have to go look at the chip. Sorry about that, I had a bit of cut in there and go actually look up these pen names. They're a little strange, uh, but we basically have their data out. It goes to uh, serial, so that's off of our pen 11. So we're gonna put that into the serial N, S-E-R. Then I'll make these different colors. And then our clock comes off of 12. So we clock in the data and that goes over to SR clock, serial clock. And then we have our latch, which is our R clear. It goes right there. So let's make that a blue. And we've got that on eight, just because that's the way I wrote the code. There we go, I think that code will work now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the LEDs. There's gonna be a lot of, a lot of wires here, uh, but they're just gonna come off of the output pins. So I'm gonna put a whole bunch of 220 ohm resistors on our output, which is gonna be Q, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So I'll do a time lapse. Let's get all this laid out.
Okay, as you can see, it's a little awkward sometimes. Um, there's no like layering. So some of these are blended together, but electrically they're separated. I don't know if that'll get addressed in a future update, but if that, uh, if that worked, we're gonna go to our interact tool and turn this on, hit the reset, and it doesn't work. So let me go troubleshoot and I'll be right back. All right, some of you probably spotted that if you've used the shift register before. Uh, I made a couple mistakes. I forgot the um, Arduino. It doesn't really work like a real one. You can't just put five volts in. So you gotta run on VN like I had hooked up and the power supply needs to be on at least six and a half volts uh, for the Arduino to work. And then I'm powering the shift register off of the five volt out on the Arduino because it needs less than six volts. And then the other mistake I made is I forgot the uh, output enable. You gotta ground that so it'll actually display. And then I've got the, uh, which pin is it? The, uh, basically the clear. So it, you can latch and uh, with this at five volts, it'll just output whatever's coming in. Read the data sheets if that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so if we hit the reset button, oops, if we grab the interact hand and hit the reset button, there we can see our code is running. So let's change that up so it goes down and back and we'll take a look at the code. Go back to select and we hit here and go to code editor. So what is this doing? Well, we have these three pins like we hooked up with the wires that are interacting with the shift register. And then in the setup, we're setting those all three pins as output. And then we're just looping. So we're saying go from one up to 255 and by powers of two times equal to. And then to write to the shift register, we pulled the latch pin low. We use the shift out function of the Arduino Nano to clock that out most significant bit first. And then we bring the latch pin back high and we sleep for 100 seconds. So it's basically just going one, two, four, eight, you know, on and so forth so that it lights up one LED at a time. So a simple way to make it come back the other direction is to just repeat this for loop. And this time we can say, greater than zero. And I think we can divide equal to two. I think that's an operator. Let's try it. Hit compile. Turn this up, back on, hit the reset. There we go. Now we get a fade back and forth. So you can play around with the code, do various things. Uh, we can't control the brightness because it's just on or off. But you could still make some interesting patterns. You could have two LEDs go back and forth. One quick correction to the code here. I just noticed as I was taking a screenshot for the thumbnail that I made a mistake and I fixed that. I was doing 256 instead of 128. So we want to start at 128 so that number is lit up. That number, that LED is lit up. There we go, much more pleasing effect.